on the food scene with Steve. I'm in New York City. And let me tell you how I got to this wonderful restaurant, Amarai. And with me is the chef and owner, Jose Morales. I was in a used bookstore. Many of you know that I do collect cookbooks, uh, thousands of them. And I picked this one up, and I was thumbing through it. And I'm like saying to myself, wow, I've been to New York many times, but I've never heard of this restaurant before. And it's been here for about 25 years, right? Yes, 25 years. Yeah. You opened in uh, May 1995. And what caught my attention was in the forward by Senator Joseph Lieberman was this little passage over here, which said, where else would a non-Jewish Portuguese immigrant open a French bistro hiring Irish American, Irish Italian chef as an executive chef and create one of the finest and most successful kosher restaurants in the United States? I said, wow, I've got to go there. So here I am. Tell us a little about your um, starting of the restaurant here for so many years. Uh, basically, the restaurant started, as I said, in 1995, and it came out of, uh, of uh, I would say, some pressure. I, my first restaurant was, uh, uh, was famous by then called Leal on Park Avenue South, that became famous again um, with Antonio Bordin later in our second life there. And uh, there were some, some of our clients, uh, they were Jewish, they were not kosher, they didn't keep a kosher home, but the kids start marrying where the, the in-laws were actually kosher. So and they start kind of put the seed on our head that you should open a kosher restaurant where uh, someone who is not kosher, never been kosher, enjoy going, but also someone who keeps kosher could go there. So, and that's basically where the story will start. And your tagline is terrific, a rare steakhouse well done. How creative and genius that is. Yeah, actually, yeah. It was created by, by a very creative person at the time, J. Walter Thompson, that used to be a very good buddy of my former partner. So, and you, he created that uh, tagline for us. Wow, and you want people to recognize your restaurant here as a French restaurant that happens to be kosher, correct? Exactly. Was, since day one, was our strategy is call a French steakhouse that happens to be kosher. Uh, and want to do that uh, because you want to people who are not kosher, who are not even Jewish, who could come here and enjoy the meal and show the world that uh, a kosher restaurant can be as good as a non-kosher restaurant, basically. And I think many people, as we spoke earlier, uh, people think of a kosher restaurant as being a New York-style deli, and this is many, many levels above that. Yeah, I mean, that's it. I think there's a New York style that, uh, that is, and some of them are excellent, you know, and I've still been in, uh, in business for decades and decades. But I think there's a misconception of a lot of people about what kosher is. Most people associate kosher with the traditional Jewish food, special uh, in New York City, more with this Ashkenazi uh, food. Uh, and uh, kosher can be done in any cuisine of the world. Uh, kosher is not a cuisine. But uh, what kosher means is, uh, I would say, rules of how to cook products and sanitary hygiene rules for cooking. Basically, that's, that's what, in a simple way to put it, that's the best way. And quickly, what are a couple of your signature items on the menu? Obviously, the number one seller and the signature items is the steak frit. That's an old French brasserie, it's a must. Uh, it's basically a simple steak with French fries. Usually, those steaks don't come from any of the prime cuts. Uh, on the non-kosher restaurant, you see on the French brasserie, you see uh, steak feet coming from the top part. Uh, here, in a kosher roll, because you cannot use uh, the, you only can use from the rib up to the neck, so we use a cut from the shoulder called the silver tip. And for those folks that want more information about the restaurant, uh, what is your website? Is it? Well, the website is very simple. It's the name of the restaurant, Le Marais, uh, dot net. And that's L-E-N-A-R-A-I-S dot, dot net. net. Well, thanks so much for a wonderful experience here. When you're in New York City, you have to come by here. It's, it's something that, as the tagline says, a rare steakhouse, well done. From New York City, at La Marais, bon appétit. Thank you very much. Bon appétit.